There you go, cowboy, you ready? We're on the road, we're going to Oak Toke's Trade and Lifestyle Show. Cowboy, you need a stand, buddy. Otherwise, they, they think you sneak in. That's right. So you guys expecting a lot of people? Yes, I think we're gonna have a great show. So I've heard a rumor that the chamber has been growing immensely fast here in this town. Is that right? That is very true, yeah. We've seen exponential growth. We're sitting at about 450, 460 members right now, which is up about 150 from 16 months ago. So is that because Okotoks is growing so fast with new businesses or is it just the chamber is really making an impact? We're out and we're advocating for our business community and we're getting involved with the ACC, the Alberta Chambers of Commerce on their policy work. We're communicating, we're doing education pieces, we're networking. We're about 45 events this year in 2017. Yeah. <laughs> That's huge. Talk about this one. And if you're a consumer in this town and you want to see what's available in this community, this is the place to see it. Why do you do trade shows like this? Uh, it's a good way to connect with your customers. Your whole Okotoks comes here. Integrity Post is here. Did you hear what happened to them? So great. They won for business of the year for their size. You think we should do it? In all of Alberta. Them? Oh my gosh. We're like so excited for them. You Joelle and I went to the awards. We and should do a profile on we this? We should. Yeah. We should, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> I think we should. Yeah. Are they here at the show? Today? Yeah, they're in the curling rink. Two winning prizes all over the place. We are. Why? because we do a good job. I think so too. We have a good product, good people. We do you wanna... need a building, by the way? Uh, at this point, we're living in an RV, so... Well, well, you could put it inside. A building for the RV? Yes, yes. I haven't thought about that one, can we? I need some power behind this. I have over 30 local artisans, so it's all handmade, handcrafted. So items. where's your market? In Inglewood, at the Inglewood Community Hall. In, in, in Calgary. Cal so what yeah. are you doing out here? I just kind of found my way into a Okotoks lot of are nice people. Yeah, I love it. We yeah. can't wait to engage you guys for that van of ours. Yeah, I know. I'm waiting for it. That's coming the 6th of June. Is it? Yeah. That would be awesome. Have we got a project for you? Oh. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe. You guys need to look closer some stuff in your van once we... That's the idea. That's what I was thinking. Well, you can come test out the couch at Robin's shop right now. I yes. did that one. You did that? Yeah. We have a couch there now. Yeah, you have a couch you can test out. You can out. test out the phone. See if it's more comfortable. Cowboy, you want any samples? Are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> Last time you had it, something that keeps your, your, your razor sharp? Yeah, a razor pit. Yeah. Basically, you would have your surface, you spray your shave foam at the bottom of it, and you just push up and clean the blade off like that. Awesome. And it'll clean your blade out just looking like that. Even if it's like one of those quadruple blade, they're yeah, like one of those jobs. that's especially what it's made for. This is the old school way. You chuck it in a pot, and you brew it, and you pray. When you're done, you put it into the bottles, you add some sugar, leave Good. it for two to three weeks, and then hopefully you have some... Three weeks? Yeah. Why three weeks? Well, because it's bottle conditioning. What can you do? It's another fermentation. you got to wait. Have I got a plan for you? <laughs> Spirit cakes. Is that what I think it is? Is it about heart and soul, or is it about booze? Booze. It is booze. <laughs> so I specialize in... Um, rum cakes or whiskey cakes. Check it out. Just check it out and you'll never ever not want one more of my cake. Here you go, bottoms up. One shot. One shot. Man, that's good. Wow. Okotokians like swinging? Yeah, Okotoks loves the circus. So we do trapeze, aerial silks, hoop, juggling. Clowns, no? Um, we don't do really a lot of clowning, but you know, we, that's open for everyone, right? There's a clown opening, cowboy. <laughs> what do we have to do for a yellow shirt? Uh, what do you have to do for a, a yellow lemon shirt? Lemonade day shirt. Well, anybody can have a lemonade. No, it's reserved for kids. Lemonade day in Okazo. What's the date? June 10th. June 10th? Join us on June 10th. We're actually driving all the way back from Waterton Food Festival just for you guys. That's awesome. Trish, yeah? we are going to provide you with video coverage this year. Yes, I heard that. All downhill. Why do you do the soapbox derby? The money that we raise from soapbox derby goes to our youth programs. How can kids be part of this? They can come to Car Stars. They get this kit and a 4x4 piece of plywood. You're going to competing again this year? Yeah. Same car? Um, I think I'm going to make a new one. We're gluten intolerant. Do you have a plan for us? Yes. Yes, what's your plan? Go, go, go eat somewhere else. Eat bits at a time, develop, build up a tolerance. That's a bloody good idea. You know, we're trying the same thing with beer. Yeah. And we're already on three liters a day. So. Same with the bread. Yes. Now, now we can drink 
all the time. It doesn't bother us anymore. Yeah. See? Bread is the exact same thing. Is the barbecue any good here? Hey, buddy. <laughs> what are you, are you doing? doing? Oh. What's on the menu? Barbecue beef brisket sandwich. The brisket has always got some secret going. No? His secret and his alone. It's amazing to see so many businesses come together in spring that are building community, that are embracing the two cowboys, and we're so glad we can tell these stories. It's been an awesome thing. Hit the road with us and we're going to show you a heck of a lot more. Let's go, man.